Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to replace uh, the fuser rollers from the fuser units on a Brother MFC 9140 CDN. The procedure is the same on uh, even other printer models that you can find in the video title and in the video description. As you can see uh, from, well, here we have some parts and uh, we're not going to replace the entire fuser unit, but only the rollers on the fuser unit. So you will see at a point in the video that uh, I will tell you something like, uh, okay, now we'll replace the fuser rollers from the fuser unit. If you bought an entirely new fuser unit assembly, you can skip to this timestamp to be redirected to the part of the reassembly of the new fuser unit. So at this point, uh, let's start by showing you what we have here. So this is the lower pressure roller and this is the upper fuser roller. So they are the two rollers that uh, are in the, um, uh, in the fuser unit. And here we have uh, four new toner cartridges because uh, uh, I think the cyan is empty and the other ones are pretty low so I'm gonna replace all of them I think. And uh, yeah, let's start from uh, the repair. So first of all, you need to rotate the printer to the back. Okay, so you need to open this cover and then uh, you need to take uh, a very little flathead screwdriver and uh, remove this part. So you push down here and then you push at a side in this part to remove it and then you can slide all this part away from the printer. Now you can already see some parts of the black stuff that came from the roller. So now we can start removing two screws. So the first one is on the right of the printer and the other one is at the other side. Okay, so at this point you should be able to remove uh, this part over here and uh, this part over here. There are two covers and uh, they cover the connectors that go to the fuser unit. So at this point you need to disconnect these two connectors here at this part and uh, at the other side you need to disconnect the electrode that goes to the heating elements of the, um, of the fuser unit. Okay, so even this one got disconnected. So now you should be able to remove uh, two more screws and then you can extract the entire fuser unit. Okay, so the first screw is uh, this one with uh, its washer and the other screw is uh, here. So at this point you should be able to remove the entire fuse unit. And this is the easy part because Removing the fuse unit is uh, very simple. The complicated part, I think, will come now. So the removal and replacement of the two rollers. So at this point, like I told you a few minutes ago, if you want, you can go to this timestamp that you see now to jump to the reassembly of the new fuser unit. So for now, let's take the printer at a side because we're going to work on the fuser unit and not on the printer. Okay, so here we have the fuser unit assembly. So the first thing you should do, I think, is uh, to remove these two springs in order to disconnect and remove this fuse roller. So in order to remove the springs is uh, pretty easy. So you just go on the other side and uh, you just take the springs out this way. So pay attention not to hurt yourself and also damage the printer. So should be able to do this pretty easily. Okay. So at this point this part is disconnected. So now I think it's time to unscrew two screws here to remove uh, this part, plastic part, this one on the other side. So at this point you can remove uh, all this part and uh, this part should come off 
pretty easily as you can see and you can actually remove this this entire part should come off with no problem whatsoever okay so this is the first roller that we're going to replace but uh, let's do it later I'm going to replace this first so let's get all these parts to side and we're going to operate on that later so even the spring okay and here we have uh, the other roller so in order to replace this roller I think you should remove uh, this screw over here and uh, this cover and then this screw over here and uh, the relative cover okay so here you can find uh, the heating element inside and the two electrodes that connects to it so the heating element is extremely really extremely um, delicate and fragile so you need to be careful with it because it's very easy to damage it and if you damage it you need to buy a new one and it's not a good thing remember I am doing all of this so the replacement of the two fuse uh, rollers Firstly, because uh, it's uh, more economic, of course, but even to reduce waste. So, that's it. So, I can see now that uh, we have two connectors that connect to this part of uh, the heating element. So, what I'll do to avoid damaging the, um, uh, the heating element is uh, I will take this screw back and uh, remove this um, this connector over here because it's uh, very easy to damage uh, the, heating, the heating elements so we'll just do something like this okay so I will remove the cable from here so the other side so in order to remove uh, the connector on this part you need to rotate the entire fuse in it and uh, remove this screw over here and then you should be able to remove uh, this part here but of course there are these cables in the way so I think you should remove these cables before okay so you remove these cables and then you can remove this cover so you can actually even not remove entirely this cover but yeah I will do it and uh, now I can disconnect this cable here but before disconnecting it I would like to get this screw back in place just to avoid uh, flexing the, um, the heating elements in any way so we'll do something like this okay so at this point we can proceed with this screw and uh, even the other one that we removed a minute ago and then we can actually lift the entire heating element and roller so now you can remove the uh, heating element from here and take it at a side for now avoid shocking it or um, just hurting it in any way because uh, it's very fragile and uh, actually you can see this roller is just in pieces so at this point you have to bend these two parts back this way and remove this gear because it's not a, um, a part that they give you with uh, the roller actually so now let's take the new roller and uh, get it inside of the new gear but before doing that I would like to clean this part because it's really filthy you can find all sort of stuff inside here especially the burnt marks and burnt parts of the um, other uh, fuse uh, roller that uh, uh, that broke so yeah let's extract 
all these uh, burnt and broken parts of the other fuse and then clean all this up and then uh, proceed. Now that we are here, why not cleaning the um, the heating element? So I'm using a paper towel with uh, some uh, glass cleaner and uh, I'm going to clean the, um, the heating element this way. So at this point we can take the new fuser roller. So th this is the new fuser roller it's packaged here and uh, here it is so it's better not to touch it with bare hands so what I'll do is uh, I will take some uh, some gloves and then I will come back now with gloves I can proceed so let's take the new roller the gear and then we take the gear side here take it this way you have to push it a bit in order to take it in position and then with uh, uh, some pliers you can do something like this okay so this is in place now so at this point we take uh, the heating element inside here again from uh, this direction and then we can take the heating element inside here again Okay, the heating element is in place correctly and so is uh, the roller. Fine, so now we can reconnect the two screws of uh, the heating element. Okay, nice and clean and uh, most importantly in position correctly. So at this point we can uh, take uh, these two parts back so this can be reconnected here with its screw and the other side too so we take this cover and uh, we take it like so. Okay, so this roller is now in position. It can move just a little bit, you can see, but uh, it's uh, properly in place. So now I think it's time to take the other roller here and then uh, reassemble the back part that we removed uh, before. So before of this, uh, we need to clean this part because you can see it has all sort of uh, um, burned uh, roller parts attached to it. Okay, I think it came out uh, fairly good and uh, I realized that maybe this printer had a fault because uh, the last user tried to print on some weird uh, uh, adhesive tape or adhesive uh, paper of some kind, so you should not do this on a laser printer. You, you definitely want uh, an inkjet printer for this type of operations usually but yeah so let's get these two parts inside okay so then uh, we take the new uh, fuser roller that uh, by the way you can find it's different from the original and uh, I'm not sure entirely if this is n just uh, an OEM part but uh, this is so much better from the original so yeah Okay, so let's get uh, these parts on the fuser roller and uh, I think we need to remove just one of these parts because it's better just to slide it in in this orientation. Yeah, and then the other part and then we can take these parts back. Okay, so now everything should fit correctly and uh, yeah, I think everything is fine now. Great, so now we take these two parts 
mm, this orientation and then we need to get the springs back connected so we take the spring this way you can use uh, even tweezers to help you get the spring in position and then from the other side you need to get that connected I don't know if these uh, uh, pliers that I have uh, are sufficient for doing this so uh, mm, maybe they are maybe they're not so I will use my tweezers not not a good thing to do it with tweezers but you can see that okay then the other spring okay so springs are connected the two rollers are doing pressure regularly okay so I think everything can be remounted so on the back side you have to well reroute the cables in the correct way then this part came out from here so you need to get it onto here okay so now you take this part and uh, get it back on here so first need to connect this part this has to be connected in a very good way because uh, if it doesn't the um, very high current and high voltage that travels from uh, this wire can create arcs and uh, that is definitely not good so now you take this part on here fine and then you take the screw back then you have to reroute the cables in the correct way so just take the wires inside here okay so everything is fine now last part before taking it back inside the printer this part over here so you just uh, slide it on here like so and then you put the two screws back now a good spray with compressed air it's never a bad thing so you can check to see if uh, some parts are uh, uh, well placed in a bad way or just uh, if everything feels good and then you, you can take this back inside of the printer so let's get back the printer and here we are again so let's get the fuse unit back inside even just a bit of compressed air here just remove uh, all the black stuff that came from the broken roller and then we can take this fuser unit back inside in this orientation before putting the fuse unit back inside remember to reconnect this connector here that we disconnected before just in case you didn't reconnect it before just like me so let's get the fuse unit back inside and everything seems to fit correctly let's get the screws So now we can reconnect a few cables here, so this one and this one, then we can smash this cable down here, check if they don't interfere with this uh, optical sensor over there, and then we can take uh, the first cover back, this is the cover. proper screw then we have to reconnect the electrode here 
so. Connected, we take it here at a side, then we take the cover. And the screw. So now we have not finished yet. We still need to get this part back. So this is very easy. You just slide it inside here and then push it on this side and uh, it comes right in place. So check if these are just pushed and not in this position. Then close, close here and let's see if the printer works now. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so I will plug in the power cord now. Let's power it on. No ID, that's not a problem. It should tell me that the uh, toner is not, uh, um, well, the toner is empty. So we will replace it now. And yeah, toner is uh, finished, the black one. So let's replace all of them. Okay, so let's open the cover. I'm sure it doesn't smash my monitor, okay. So let's start with the black one. And we are ready. So let's do a test print. And it prints perfectly fine. Yeah. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been useful for you. If it did, uh, hit the like button. Sorry for the noise in the back. I live in front of that train station, yeah. And uh, maybe share the video with someone you know that has similar problems. And uh, subscribe if you want more. And uh, then, yeah. That's everything for now. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.